students welcome to netpran sasha today in this video we are going to see waste types of waste and waste segregation what do you do with your old toys books clothes etc that you no longer use we usually throw it away we can see a lot of waste all around the city this create a lot of problem to resolve this problem we need to understand what is waste and waste management anything that is eliminated or discarded as no longer useful or required after the completion of the process is known as waste waste is also known as rubbish trash junk or garbage now let's see the types of waste the waste generated by the people at home is known as household waste this includes vegetable peels leftover food tins cans and domestic sewage the waste generated by industries is known as industrial waste this includes chemicals waste water metal scraps plastic etc the waste generated on agricultural farm is known as agricultural waste this include fertilizer husk etc waste are broadly classified as solid waste liquid waste and gaseous waste now let's see about solid waste at home vegetable and fruit peels tins cans wrappers leftover food waste paper are some of the different types of solid waste fallen leaves and dead plants also add to it solid waste are generally known as garbage solid waste are classified into two types biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste biodegradable waste the waste that can be decomposed easily is known as biodegradable waste that is the waste that can be decomposed by small living organisms known as decomposers that are present inside the soil and air is called the biodegradable waste for example fruit and vegetable peels animal remains waste paper fallen leaves and dead plants are some of the examples of biodegradable waste non biodegradable waste waste that cannot be decomposed into simpler substance by decomposers is known as non biodegradable waste for example tins cans plastic that are thrown in the soil do not decay even after thousands of years and cause a lot of problems The next category is the liquid waste. Liquid waste are very harmful and affect the environment. For example, when we wash dishes, the dirty water flows down the drain. Similarly, the run of water from the agricultural farms contains chemical fertilizers. The factories release effluents as waste products from their processes. The last category is gaseous waste. The waste mainly produced by the exhaust of vehicles, chimneys of factories in the form of smoke and harmful gases constitutes gaseous waste. Burning of leaves, papers, plastics and coal also release smoke and harmful gases into the air thus adding to gaseous waste. The first step in managing waste is waste segregation. At home we need to keep separate bins for biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste. At public areas it is advisable to mark the bins as biodegradable and non biodegradable. Compostable waste includes leftover food, fruits and vegetable peels, decaying food items and garden litter. Such types of waste is collected in green colored bins. Recyclable waste includes objects made from plastic, metal and glass. Such type of waste is collected in blue colored bins. Some toxic waste materials such as used syringes, expired medicines and used batteries are collected separately in red colored bins. The red colored bins are usually kept near hospitals. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I'll meet you in the next video with the continuation of waste management. Until then, bye-bye from Sasha.